Now, Ghana's opened its first commercial gold refinery. The country is the continent's top gold producer, and the government has a 20% stake in the project in Accra. But whilst the country is hoping to earn more from the precious metal, some of the observers aren't so sure that the setup of this project is the best way to go about this. Justice Baidu talks us through. Refinery was greeted by huge local and international press herald and what the government say could reduce the amount of raw gold that Ghana currently exports. Initially, it is expected to create 80 to 120 direct jobs and another 500 indirect jobs, boosting domestic tax revenue in the form of corporate taxes and enabling us to refine to 24 carats, that is 99.99% purity, the same quality as a good delivery bar LBMA standard. The Royal Ghana Gold Refinery has a capacity to process 400 kilograms worth of gold per day, sourcing mainly from artisanal gold miners in the country. The country's central bank says this would also boost a gold buying scheme that it has introduced to help protect the value of the local currency, the CD. This follows a pattern or is, in, is consistent with a pattern of um, government projects that are announced as if they are large scale national transformation projects. But in actual fact, when you look closely, they tend to be driven by commercial interest of close associates or politicians. Uh, we call this state enchantment. Number two, the impression has been created that Ghana never had refineries. And all of a sudden, through this project, we have a refinery. So this is a game changer for the gold industry in Ghana. And that's not true. Ghana has almost 12 refineries. Um, and in fact, this is not even the biggest refinery. Ghana produced over 3 million ounces of gold in 2023 alone.